Good morning. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how much I spent in one day here in the Philippines. And I thought today was a perfect day because it's going to be jam packed. And we're going to start off with the cost of this hostel, which is this right here. Let me show it to you. Now, I don't want you to be fooled to think all hostels cost this amount here in the Philippines because actually this is the cheapest that I've paid for here and it's an exception. Normally the hostels are between $10 to $20 and you guys will see tonight, we're heading to a hostel in an island that is $20. Some of the things we're gonna be doing today is we're going to the gym right now, then we're gonna get a haircut, we're gonna get stuff to eat, we're gonna catch public transportation and then we're heading to the airport and going to a different island. So it's gonna be a jank packed full day, that way you guys know and have an understanding of what are the prices here in the Philippines because before I came here, I really had no clue and I wish I would have seen someone make a video like this. So make sure to hit that like button y'all and let's head to the gym. So this is the gym right here guys. It's pretty good. I've been working out here for the past week. It has everything you need. As you guys can see. It's small and tight, but it does the job. Um, the only thing is that there is no air con and there are fans, but there's no, they don't turn them on. So you fucking profoundly sweating. You guys are gonna see in a minute. I'm gonna show you. You guys can see, look at this, I'm drenched bro. French. That's the only issue with this gym. It's hella cheap, bro, but damn, it gets hot as hell here, which I don't mind, guys. Personally, if you're not sweating, you ain't working. That's the way I think. Now let's go get a haircut. I saw just down the street, I think it's about 50 or 60 pesos, very cheap. Uh, last time I got a haircut was in an island and it was 70 pesos. So the guy said that usually the city's more expensive, but he was lying. It kind of ripped me off because I ended up paying him 200 pesos because I felt bad. But now, nah, dude, haircut around here is about 50, 60 pesos. Hey guys, I found a place here. Hello. This is a haircut. Alright guys, this is the haircut we're gonna get right here. This is how it looks right now. I'll show you later when it's done. 60 pesos. That was it. Pretty, really good haircut. Like, oh, amazing. Usually here in the Philippines, guys, the haircuts are bomb. They know how to do it and what you want, and they get it right. Now, me, I don't really eat breakfast. I normally skip that, but if you were wanting to have some breakfast here, I would say it costs you between 100 to 200 pesos for a decent breakfast. Now, we're heading back to the hostel. I'm gonna do a little bit of work, get my stuff together, and then we're heading to the airport. Okay, guys, I have packed all my stuff and I'm ready to go. But first, we're gonna go get something to eat because from the airport, when we arrive to Puerto Princesa, which is in Palawan, we have to catch a bus that's about a seven hour ride to El Nido. And I don't know how much food is going to be around. So we're going to head right now to a big Chinese franchise restaurant that's here in the Philippines. And it's probably one of my favorite meals that I've had. Right here, guys. Okay, something that I have to say about the Philippines is that fast food is not necessarily fast here. Every time I come here or to Jollibee's or any other fast food place, the minimum wait is like 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes they even tell me you have to wait 30 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Fast food is not fast here. But the meal is 201 pesos. And I think it's a great meal for the price and everything that you get. Here it is. We got some sweet and sour pork, some noodle kadoodles um, with like pork and vegetables, some yellow rice with egg. This little sesame ball, which it's very chewy and very delicious. It's sweet. And some prawn crackers, as you guys can see. And iced tea. So it's a whole meal for 201 and it's probably one of my favorite meals here that I've had in the Philippines. Uh, I get it at least, I would say, three times a week because it's just simple, easy, and it has a different combination of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
these noodles are so good guys, legit. And the sweet and sour pork is legit. So good, dude. So good. Oh. Very meaty. And the flavors of the sweet and sour are so nice. Probably one of the best sweet and sour porks I've ever had. No joke. No joke, my, me my people. Another thing I did was I did laundry before I left and it's 140 pesos to do laundry here. So it's 60,000 to use the washing machine, 60,000 to use the dryer and 20,000 to use it, their detergent. Normally, if I do laundry somewhere where they do it for you, it's about 220 pesos. So it's just slightly cheaper here. It feels still a bit damp and wet. That's what I don't like about this place. It feels wet still. That sucks. Okay guys, we're out. And now to get a taxi. I'm not quite sure how much a taxi will be from here to the airport, but it's about like, I think about 12 to 15 minute ride. I'm just gonna grab one down because here you can actually use grab, but that never works, dude. I've tried to use it various times and for some reason, no grab is ever available. So it's always easier just to grab them on the streets. guys as you guys can see I'm profoundly sweating literally like 15 minutes they're waiting for a taxi dude that's the problem with the Philippines guys here everything just takes a lot longer than you expect go think I'm going on time guys because actually I did not notice but the airport is like a good 50 minutes away and on grab it said it cost about 800 pesos bro to go to the airport so that's something that you guys need to know and I've been telling you guys is that transportation here really really sucks and not only that it's expensive for no reason so we're finally heading to the airport and we're gonna see how much it costs us because I mean you could get a bus but according to Google Maps the bus is about two hours and 30 minutes and I would miss, I would miss my flight if I take that long okay guys I had to get off the taxi because I'm running really late and I need to get there as quick as possible so we're gonna try to get a scooter to take us. I just paid 240 for the taxi to drop me off halfway. Now we're gonna have to pay, I think, around 300 pesos to get a scooter to take us. Hopefully we'll make it. I'm running really, really tight. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but we're gonna see. Hopefully the, the plane is delayed or something like that. Okay guys, we managed to hail the scooter quickly. Now we're already on the scooter. Um, and we agreed to 200, so that's a good deal. Oh god guys, we're running so late. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck. Excuse me? Oh, am I too late for this flight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so, so the boarding desk is already closed, but it's delayed 20 minutes, so they might let me stay on the flight. <laughs> By a miracle of God, guys, we made it. We're on our way to our gate, and I was even able to check in my bag, bro. That's amazing. So, uh, good thing the flight was delayed by 20 minutes or I would have been screwed. So yes, guys, just make sure that when you're going to take a flight here in the Philippines, you give yourself more than enough time because the traffic here sometimes can be ridiculous. And not only that, but just trying to get a cab or transportation there is probably the hardest part. If it wasn't because of those extra 15 minutes that I had to be hailing down a taxi, I would have been fine. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I do have to say though, this airport is really nice, dude. Check it out. And also, this airport is way more efficient than the airport in Manila. When I was getting from Manila to Cebu, oh my God, the airport in Manila is a hassle even just to get inside the airport you have to go through security and there's always a huge queue waiting so uh, yeah Cebu Airport give it a good thumbs up bro I like it um, and can I please get a water and a coke yes, sir. thank you are you gonna coke yes okay thank you 
Thank you. We're getting on the plane, believe it or not. No fucking way, dude. I can't believe I made it, guys. Oh, oh, thank God, dude, because it would have hurt so much to miss this flight. This flight was like, I think, I don't know the exact number, but I'll put it up here. This is how much it cost me, so it would have really hurt to lose that money. I booked it in advance, so it was a decent price because it was in advance, but if I would have booked it like at last minute, like if I had to book another flight today, it would have been like a lot more. We're on our seat, ready to go. I'll see you guys in Palawan. Let's go! airport now to go find the bus or the shuttle bus that can take us to El Nido which as I said about seven hours so I'm not sure how much this is gonna cost us let's find out I was wrong actually according to Google Maps it's about five hours damn We'll get you back to the deck. Okay, no problem. Please prepare the payment 700. Okay. For the joiners, we're joining with them. Okay, this is 12 Nido, right? Yeah. Okay. As cool. soon as I got out of the airport, there were some guys with the sign, and I asked them, "Is there any shuttle bus to El Nido?" So I was able to get this shuttle bus here, and it was 700 pesos from the airport to El Nido, and it's about five hours. Thank you. You need a bit of that? Nah, I'm okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, next purchase is a little sting for the rad and the water for 45 pesos. So we just did our first stop over here. It was like maybe two and a half hours later. We're going to be here for 30 minutes, and then we still have another, I would guess, another two and a half more hours. We'll be arriving there around 12, guys. But uh, yeah, we came to this place. They have food. You can get something to eat. They have restrooms. And uh, yeah, look, the ride has been okay. It's very wavy. I've been trying to edit and stuff, but it's not so easy. And I gotta say, it's really tight in there as well. Like the little chair that I have, it's a bit uncomfortable. So um, yeah, like I gotta say, transportation here is not the most comfortable, especially for five hours. It's, it's a bit tough, but it's gonna be all worth it. El Nido Palawan is gonna be all worth it. I just checked into my hostel. I got here safe and sound, but God, Damn, that was a long ride. It was almost six hours to get here. I did not expect that. Now, I would like to show you what the $20 offers at this hostel, but it's dark, so I can't really. Therefore, I will show you tomorrow. So this is what you're actually paying for. Oh my God, look at the background, guys. But I do have to say, after staying here one night, there are some flaws. What I'll be doing is I'm gonna be staying at the top three hostels here in El Nido and making a full video reviewing all three and letting you guys know which is my favorite one. That way you guys are aware and which one is the one to stay at here. Please make sure to subscribe, guys. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It would mean a lot to me. Let me know what you guys think down below about this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cristian Rodriguez, bye.